Hi, I'm Holly and thanks for joining me today. So Easter is just around the corner and today we're going to be making this adorable little Easter bunny with all of the supplies that I got from the Dollar Tree. So are you ready? Well, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. Well, let's get crafting. So let me show you all the things that you'll need to pick up and everything you can find I got at the Dollar Tree. So they have these cute little tin cans, which will be our base. And then this cute little glass jar, which will actually hot glue onto that. Um, this is a little uh, cardboard box and it just so happened that the top fits exactly onto our glass jar. So that's what we're going to use for that. We're gonna add some ears a bow, a face, and some feet, and we're gonna have ourselves an adorable, cute little Easter bunny. So let's get started. First things first, I am going to take my glass jar and I'm just going to hot glue it around the rim of this tin can. Now these, they have all different colors of these cute tin cans. So you could make a cute red one and fill it up with gumballs or, you know, just anything, your imagination, let your imagination run wild. So we're just gonna add a little bit of hot glue to keep our glass jar on there real good. Okay. There we go. Now for the face for the Easter Bunny, I just went ahead and Googled images um, because I'm not a very good artist. So I actually Googled bunny face and I cut out this cute little <laughs> nose and mouth. And so we're just gonna glue that on right in the center. Oh yeah, that's cute. And I just actually cut ovals for the eyes. So just really super simple. And then once again, I Googled, um, when I was Googling Easter bunny images, I just went ahead and Googled bunny feet and cut those out. So I've cut out an oval for our little bunny's tummy. We're gonna head and just hot glue that on. And then let's hot glue his little toesies on. Yeah, he's cute. And then I just basically made these myself, did an oval on some glitter paper and cut out some eyelashes. You could use some wiggly eyes. Uh, I think wiggly eyes would have been really cute. That's adorable. Now, a couple things you could do to fill this up is you could fill it up with, I was thinking you could find some white gumballs. Uh, you could also fill it up with marshmallows, like little mini marshmallows would be cute. Um, you could fill it up with a whole bunch of cotton balls. I actually found these at the dollar store, and so we're gonna fill them up with these little tiny, they're called fox snow. Now I've used these before and they have a lot of static. So I'm not surprised if these little foam balls go everywhere. We'll have to see what happens. Just gonna pop those in. Not too bad. There is a lot <laughs> of static though. I'm not sure if it's gonna take two or three, but Oops, they're falling out, no. Okay, so there we go. We overfilled our little bunny, but I guess it's better than underfilled. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of that out. I'm probably going to have these little foam balls everywhere.
Okay, so we've got our little guy filled. We're just going to add. Oh, isn't he cute? Um, I think I'm going to hot glue this down just for the fact that I don't want those foam balls escaping because that could be a mess. We're gonna just gonna hot glue his little hat on or his head. Get rid of some of these balls. And then I thought it would be cute to glue a little bit of cotton on here. He is a bunny. I'm just gonna stretch some of that out. And just put a couple little tufts. I think I'm gonna use regular glue for this. Probably a little bit hard for you to see as I'm making this, but we're, I'm just adding a little bit of cotton to the front of him. Okay, oh yeah, look how cute he is. This could be actually a cute little lamb too. Okay, so for his ears. And I am actually going to hot glue this down also to keep his ears in place. Love my hot glue gun. Okay, it's dripping just a little bit. Get him placed really good. Okay, so, so far looking so cute. And then I thought for the finishing touches on our little bunny is we would add a cute little bow. And they have a lot of fun ribbon now at the Dollar Tree. So I just took a whole bunch of different colors and put them together and I'm just kind of making a homemade bow with some fun Easter colors. And then I just took a twist tie um, and tied it around there. Oh yeah, those colors look great. And I think we will add this on under his little ears. Okay, so there is our adorable little Easter Bunny. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. And he came together so fast with just simple things that I got from the Dollar Tree. We'll bring our little candy machine in. And yeah, I really do think I wanna make a little gumball machine. That would be really cute. So hey, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I maybe gave you some ideas of a simple little craft that you can make with things from the Dollar Tree. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.